So I started playing piano when I was six years old. Um, I studied both classically and I also studied with a family member who was a member of many rock bands during the 80s and was able to kind of help me learn more of that improvised style of music. So I sort of had these, both of these lanes I was in from the time I was six to around 16, so about 10 years there. And when I was 19 years old, I was invited to attend Grammy camp. And at Grammy camp, I got to play with Earth, Wind & Fire, uh, some other famous bands and musicians. And I really got a hang of what I needed to do in the music industry itself, because there's so much beyond just playing the piano. So I was accepted into UCI in 2009. I had a scholarship and a grant from the California government. So together, it was pretty much a full ride, which is great because I don't have any student debt. I studied under Kei Akagi, who was Miles Davis's last pianist in the early 90s. It was a great experience. At the same time that I was studying jazz piano, I was also studying classical vocals with a uh, famous Croatian opera singer named Dubravka Zubovic. And I'll actually leave a link in the description below where you can watch her singing uh, in Croatian television. So after college, I moved to LA. You know, I cut my teeth, as they say, in the, in the real music business. And had its good and its bad, but I learned a lot. I produced songs that were on television and radio. My songs were featured on CNN. I myself was invited to sing live on, on different radio stations. I've had a lot of experience in the real music industry, and that experience is, is partly what I want to be able to impart to my students. I don't want it to just be piano you know, by itself. I want to connect in all of those different facets that connect to the piano.